One of the highlights, if you're a television viewer of sport in 2017, was that Women's World Cup final. As India ran England that close, there was heartbreak. All of us were sitting there and watching. It was like Sindhu playing for an Olympic medal. We were all in there sitting and watching and cheering them on. Whether it was Mitali or Harman Preet or even Veda Krishnamurti, towards the end, we were counting our singles. But more than anything else, it told us that the women cricketers can put together a spectacle that can hold you. And that is why I'm really looking forward to the Women's World T20. It's a tournament that's closer than ever before. If you look at who's been playing well since the last edition in 2016, the West Indies won that, of course. But if you look at who's been playing well since then, you look at Australia, England, New Zealand, India. This used to be the great quartet of women's cricket. These were the four teams that mattered. But look at the change that happens once you come into results in 2018. Australia is still up there, but you start noticing, hang on, Pakistan can win a few games. Bangladesh can win a few games. England are there about. There's a little island hanging around over there. But even though they might be down that list, South Africa can win. Sri Lanka can win the odd games. Bangladesh won an, won an Asia Cup. This is the closest World T20. I know Australia start overwhelming favourites. You've got players like Meg Lanning and the others, and they're wonderful, wonderful to watch. But this is a wide open tournament. So what about India? For a long time, I felt that India's biggest strength was the 50-over game because the Indian girls didn't have the power game. Indian girls were risky batsmen. They'd run well between wickets, pick one and two, but they like to build their innings. And then two or three young players have come through in recent times. I'm mighty impressed with young Jemima Rodriguez. I think she's one for the future. But the two batting stars have emerged on either side of Mitali Raj, who was carrying India's baton for so many years. You watch Smriti Mandhana bat and you're seeing a proper player. She, her drives through the cover are reminiscent of just anybody when we spoke to her recently and I said, are you, are you, do you drive like sort of Ganguly through the offside? And she said, oh, you know, maybe. But Smriti Mandana in the, in the uh, T20 tournament in England, the Kia League, was simply outstanding. A 15-18 balls, remember. A 15-18 balls for a women cricketer. She hits the, hits the ball a long way. She drives crisply. She is wonderful to watch. And I think in many ways she holds the key to India's fortunes in this tournament. If she's not getting them, there's Mithali Raj along with. I think they make a good combination batting together and I really want to see Harman Preet come good in this tournament because even though they bring the boundary ropes in for the women's game, it doesn't matter when Harman Preet is batting. A couple of sixes that I saw, she was hitting them in the stands. So th this is the core around which I think India's batting will evolve. I'd like to see Veda Krishnamurti do a lot better because I think there's a lot more to her than we've seen so far. She can be a mighty stroke player towards the end as well. But it's the bowling that's a little worrisome because the bowling relies around, around the spinners. You've got the Poonam Yadavs of the world, you've got all these wrist spinners of the world and they bowl a very old-fashioned Style. It's interesting that Ramesh Pawar is the coach because their bowling style is pretty similar to the style Ramesh Pawar had himself, where a ball would hang in the air for a long time and then dip and fall. And in India spinners do a lot of that. So, what will be interesting is how the opposition plays India spinners because if the tracks are doing even a little bit, if the ball grips a little bit and turns, then India become a completely different side. Are India favourites? I don't think so. I think everyone regards Australia as favourites, but it'll be great fun watching the women play cricket. It's one of the fastest growing aspects of world cricket and I beseech all of you, do watch not just India's women, do watch the women's World T20 because who knows, somebody in your house, there might be a little girl there who look at a Mandana or a Mithali Raj or a Harman Preet or a Poonam Yadav and say, I want to become a, a, a young player. So it's something we must all watch. Let's all get behind our side. It should be a wonderful tournament.